What's going on guys? It's New York Prepper here. Just wanted to do a quick review of a really cool compass that I've had for a while and I just never got a chance to review it. Um, but I consider it, consider it one of the cornerstones of my land navigation kit for my bug out bag and my uh, get home bag. Okay. So what I have here are two compasses. On the right is the U.S. Military Issue Kamenga Lensatic Compass. This is a full-size compass, which I've done a review on before. Um, it's a tritium compass. It has uh, tritium vials inside. All right. And um, it's uh, it has tritium vials, so you can navigate with this compass at night. Okay. Um, but I'm not here to talk about this compass. What I'm here to talk about is... Uh, this compass over here, this little guy, okay, little brother, um, and this compass is really cool, it's also made by Kamenga, uh, let me just show you guys the, uh, the brand, so you know it's not a knockoff, um, so it says Kamenga here, okay, Kamenga is the same, this is also a Kamenga, this, uh, U.S. military issue Lensatic compass is also Kamenga, all right, it's official, official Kamenga, compass all right it's solid aluminum it's it's you know basically a bomb proof compass um and it has the tritium inside and uh but what i wanted to do is show you this little one the little brother to the uh to the lensatic compass and you know i've had this for years i just never did a review on it but it's a really cool little compass to keep in your survival kit or your bug out bag your get home bag your wilderness survival pack, um, your hiking bag, you know, this is just a very basic wrist compass, okay, you put it on your wrist, just like so, just like you would wear a watch, okay, it goes on real easy, um, it just has a basic, uh, you know, like a watch band style, uh, attachment, okay, so, um, I wanted to just show you that, so, you know, you've probably seen me use this before on some of my videos, and you'll probably see me use it more. But you basically wear it like a watch, okay? And what you could do is you could use this to, you could also wear it on the inside of your wrist as well. Um, you wear this like a watch, and this is actually a, this is not water, there's no water in here, okay? So there's no worry about an air bubble or anything. This is actually a, um, this is a, uh, what is it, a mag like a magnetic uh, compass. I forget what, what the word is, but it's not suspended in fluid, okay? It's, uh, it's magnetic just like this one is, okay? Uh, this is also not suspended in fluid. This is, this is a ba it's balanced, and it's purely magnetic. There's no water or fluid inside, you know, to, uh, to get messed up. And uh, that's what you want in a survival compass, or compass that you're going to use for war, like this one was created. You don't want anything with fluid inside because over time the fluid um, will, you know, air will get in, all right, because you can't perfectly seal anything, and eventually air will get inside and it'll create an air bubble. And I have a couple of compasses with air bubbles inside, and it messes up the compass, you know, you can't use it because the air bubble gets in the way. But this is nice. Um, I really like this little compass here. I've had it for years. And uh, I just ordered another one to have a, a second one. Because I plan to use this one for my hiking and my trekking. And my woods uh, travels. But the other one is going to go in my bug out bag and stay inside. Just has a basic uh, nylon strap that comes with it. It retails for about $30 or $40. Um... When I bought it, it was only like 30 or 25 I think they're up to like 40 now. But it, it is a little bit on the pricey side, but the reason why it's expensive is because you have tritium in here. So um, this is a good little survival compass that you can keep on you. And you can always have on your person in case for whatever reason, let's say you lost your compass. Um, you know, let's say you have your compass and it breaks or you lose it uh you, you'll have a backup compass all right so what i usually do is when i'm tracking in the wilderness and i'm using my compass i take two readings all right i take a reading with this and then i take a reading with the small one this way if something happens um let's say i drop my compass and i can't find it 
you know, let's say it breaks or something happens to it, I lose it, you know, let's say it's in my backpack and I have to dump my backpack because I'm getting chased by a bear and then I can't find my backpack for whatever reason. Um, I always want to have a backup compass, especially when you're navigating alone in the wilderness. So, um, you know, I have this little compass here and uh, it does the job well. And uh, it is tritium. So you you have the, the only tritium on this compass here is, is you have the, the arrow mark. And I'll take it off of my wrist so I can do a better uh, review of it. So you have the uh, arrow mark here, and the arrow mark points north, all right? And that's, you can see there's a tritium um, vial in there, okay? Let me see if I can't get the light on it. You can see there's a tritium vial here, okay? And then you have this, these two lines are also uh, lit up, okay, by tritium. And the rest of the compass is phosphorescent, okay? So all these little uh, markings here. Um, are phosphorescent. So what that means is I can actually take my flashlight, my tack light, and I can hold it over and charge it, you know, and charge the uh, phosphorescence. And uh, I'm going to do a demonstration to show you how, you know, I'll, I'll see how bright it'll show up on the camera. It's a little bit hard to see on the camera how bright the tritium is, but I'm going to turn the tritium, uh, I'm going to shut the light off so you guys can see the tritium, and I'm actually just charging the phosphorescent right now. Um, to see if we can't, uh, see the phosphorescent glow on it, but, you know, basically it's a, it's a nice little, uh, supplemental compass and a good backup compass. So, uh, stand by and, uh, I'll do a, a test with the lights off so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So here you can see in the picture, this is the wrist compass with the lights off and not charged by a flashlight, no phosphorescent charge. These are just the tritium vials by themselves. You can see the one vial off to the left on its own is the north, that points north. And then the two, the two tritium vials, the, the marks that are lined up, those represent your direction of travel. All right, guys. So in this picture, you can see the full-size compass on the right and the wrist compass on the left. Okay, those three hash marks on the left is the wrist compass. And on the right, the one that has the giant W and E, which represent west and east, is the full-size compass. All right, so you can see the wrist compass. The tritium vials are still high quality, and they're just as bright as the uh, full-size compass. And this is in total dark conditions. All right, guys. So here's the last picture. This is the wrist compass after it was charged up with my Phoenix TK09 flashlight. It's a 1,000 lumen tactical flashlight. I held the wrist compass right against the end of the flashlight for about 30 seconds or so. And it charges it up really brightly. And the charge lasts probably about a minute or two. So the way this works is that if, let's say, you're navigating at night and you want to check your bearing to make sure you're heading in the right direction, what you do is you just take your tactical light and you shine it uh, on the wrist compass for a few seconds and it will phosphoresce and then you'll be able to check your bearing to make sure that you're heading in the right direction. All right, guys, so I hope that those pictures uh, helped you to see how, you know, effective it is. But basically, um, the way that the compass works is that it has these uh, larger hash marks here in between the west, the south, the east, and the north. The larger hash marks are 30 degrees, and the smaller ones are going to be 10 degrees, okay? Okay. So every, every one of the smaller hash marks is 10 degrees and the larger one is 30, all right? So it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, okay? So you can actually get fairly precise with this uh, little wrist compass, you know, because you have 10 degree markings, but then in between the 10 degrees, if you put the, uh, the, the line of travel here in between them, you know, you're looking at 5 degrees, so you can effectively use this up to five degree uh, range of, of accuracy, you know, which is not terrible. 
Um, I mean, I wouldn't use this as a precise way of navigating. You know, that's what this is for. Okay, this is for precise measurements. You know, you can see it has very, um, it has a very fine uh, graduation here. You know, you have very small. Um, it also has mills too. This this compass uses mills if you want to use mills, and it also has the uh, regular degrees. You know, but that's what this is for. You know, this is a more expensive and ro robust compass. This is more of an emergency backup compass. You know, this is something that you can easily stow in a survival kit. It doesn't. It weighs nothing. You know, and it's just. I'll show you the actual bezel itself. It's literally just. It has this hard plastic on the outside. And the body is made of aluminum, and uh, you know, and you just it give, they comes with this little watch strap, and it's like a heavy duty nylon, and it has this aluminum uh, buckle thing here. So um, I highly recommend it, guys. Uh, sorry about that. I highly recommend this little guy as a backup compass. All right, keep it in your emergency kit. You never know when you're going to need it. You know. Uh, Especially if you get lost in the woods and you lose your main compass, you know, or, or if you don't have your compass on you, if you forget to take it, at least you have some kind of compass, you know. So check it out, guys. Uh, again, it's not for precise measurements. This is more for general purpose direction. And, uh, you know, like I said, when I go in the wilderness, I line these up together, okay. And uh, you can see that they, they, they're pretty much calibrated, you know, equally, um, they're both pointing north, as you can see. This one is pointing north. This one is pointing north. Uh, magnetic north, that is. All right. Um, so, all right. So, uh, you, you know, like I said, you can use this as your backup compass. And, and, you know, definitely something great to have in your kit. So, highly recommend it. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for more gear reviews. All right, guys. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three P's, prepare, practice, and persevere.